So we're back to phone hacking scandals, it seems, as the likes of Prince Harry, Elton John and Doreen Lawrence, amongst others, look set to sue the Daily Mail, this time around over allegations of obtaining distressing materials regarding said individuals through means of criminal activity and gross breaches of privacy. It's been 17 years since the last phone hacking scandal when Rupert Murdoch's News of the World went under as a result of its wrongdoing, tapping the phones of people from the rich and famous to murdered teenagers with all of the investigation and legal action that followed. The entire affair triggered the Leveson inquiry, which in no uncertain terms laid out the need for greater oversight of British mainstream media, some of the most mistrusted on the planet. But this, of course, amounted to nothing with the MSM promising to mark its own homework properly in future. Yeah, right. Of course, many independent media outlets hold themselves to Leveson levels of oversight and have signed up to impress rather than Ipso, but not one mainstream outlet has. Nothing fundamentally has ever changed in our media. So it shouldn't be a great shock that here we go again, really, just that this time it's the mail. So what have they allegedly done? Well, a press release from law firm Hamlin's on the subject states that the accusations include hiring private investigators to place listening devices in people's cars and homes, listening and recording people live while they took telephone calls, paying police officials with corrupt links to private investigators for inside sensitive information, impersonating individuals to obtain medical information via deception, and accessing bank accounts, credit histories, and financial transactions through illicit means of manipulation. Quite a list there, and in actual fact, it's been noted that these allegations are even worse than those that involve the news of the world. Now, of course, associated newspapers who own the mail, the plaything of media baron Viscount Rothermere, have, of course, refuted all of these allegations. You won't be surprised to hear. But with former mail editor at the time of these allegations, Paul Dacre, set to be installed in the House of Lords by the Tories, the timing of this is less than helpful to him, certainly. The mail has for years been a Tory mouthpiece. If true, the calls for Leveson to be again implemented in full and bringing our media under some form of meaningful oversight will be louder than ever.